yeah, looking yeah, at, yeah. you know, um, the readmission rate and uh, the hospitalizations length and all this uh, stuff. But uh, and then we also found, you know, um, way to improve these, like, you know, just other factors that need to be included in these tools, for example, like social economic status. Uh, whether who they living with mm-hmm. or they live alone and yeah. a lot of those stuff like that. So we inclu- mm-hmm. incorporate it in the, um, in the project and we roll up a, a paper and we submit it. In, uh, and after like months of like editings and approval process, like we finally got it published. Wow. So that is very mm-hmm. uh, time consuming, but it's actually worth it because um, it's actually made me really stand out from yeah. um, all the CRN school that I applied yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> I, because sure. that would help with that. Because especially yeah. now, like CRNA uh, school, uh, most of the programs now are DNP programs. So it's very like research heavy. Um, mm-hmm. So they, you know, they love to see the applicants who are actually uh, interested in doing research as well yeah. as, you know, have uh, experience in the past with that. So it's easier to, for them to teach you and uh you know um help you to succeed through the program yeah you are like (laughs) good thank you (laughs) Um, so you wrote a paper you applied to the schools you got certified you did everything (laughs) everything (laughs) plus um how like okay how long did it take for you to get like responses how did the interview actual interview process go you know like what were some of the questions that you got can you talk more about that yep so um the you can expect the whole interview like you know from the time that you submit the applications to the time that you actually find down whether you get accepted or rejected can take up to like months like six to eight months I would wow. say yeah. it depends on you know how the school process the applications but um, for um, for the interview wise it's very depends on the school that you apply to some mm-hmm. school only asking you behavioral questions some mm-hmm. have a mix of clinical and uh, behavioral questions uh, mm-hmm. some school I see they have multiple interviews rounds so like, you know, the first rounds it would be like learning about you. The second round would be uh, a behavioral interview, like, you know, um, and then at the end, they will give you a clinical test and, uh, mm. and a writing test. And you have to, wow. Um, wow. yeah, I went through all three types of interview uh, yeah, during my process. Yeah. yeah. So like for the behavioral interview what they looking out for is you know your personality to see how you fit in their program and as well as you know um like they're asking you a lot of questions about team players like for example like um with uh all the school asked like, oh, how did you tell me a time that you have a conflict with coworkers and how did you do to, mm-hmm. uh, what did you do to resolve that? Um, or tell me a time uh, that, you know, you uh, <clears throat> like your leadership experience and what make the, what's the proudest moment uh, in your career that mm-hmm. you made. So, you know, um, you have to be able to tell them and let them know that, you know, you are a team player you willing to take the initiative in making changes uh, mm-hmm. for, and advocate best for your patients. Uh, and internal clinical questions, they can give you, you know, um, a clinical scenario, like, and then they will pick out details and they will ask you and mm-hmm. deeper and deeper and deeper and until like you don't have the answer for them. Cause really? like they want to, yeah, cause they want to <laughs> see how you respond to mm-hmm. stress, right? Wow. Like, cause you know, being a CRNA, uh, I can't imagine, very, it's a very stressful job. So mm-hmm. you have to be able to mm-hmm. think quick on your feet. And um, yeah. so they want to see if you have that capability or not. And um, so that's why when I, after I finished uh, applying for school, I started uh, studying right away because I knew like if I get an interview anywhere, like I would have to know both clinical uh, and behavioral questions. So uh, I start to prepare for that. 
and um, you know, so it's give you time so that you don't wait last minute. Because once they give you um, like you know the decision whether they want to interview you or not, uh, you only usually have like a week to two max. And wow. there's a lot of permissions to actually like you know. So you wait process. like eight. <laughs> you wait like eight to nine months, and then when they finally decide to get back to you, it's like one to two. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. They'd be wow. like, okay, here are the dates. Like you choose. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, you know, I, I get it. I, just a little background on me, if you don't know about me, I, I'm an educator. I, I did my master's in nursing education. So it's completely different, you know. Um, I have <laughs> for all the other specialties, all the other, um, you know, CRNAs and nurse practitioners, but it's just interesting to hear the how different the process is. Like, it's really intense. I, I mean, master, doing, a, doing my master's is intense, but this is... <laughs> I'm sure, really yeah. I mean, intense. honestly, <laughs> honestly, like, it's very... I really admire you. Like, you know, you do master when you, like, have a kid, uh, you know, to have a yeah. full job and working night shift to... Uh, I, yeah. I don't think yeah. I would be able to get through that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you would. No. Yes. <laughs> no, that's... That's something different, but you, yeah. you're, you're amazing. Um, <laughs> so, finances. Yeah. How did you go about, you know, deciding that that situation? So you know, so once, um, once you start plan, no, no, like when you start planning, like you know, okay, like I want to go back to school. Uh, mm-hmm. like from a year to two right now like from now like you need to sit down and plan out like okay like how much do I need to save and uh, you know um, you know you won't be making money at least for at least the same amount like, you know for the next three years because when you start CRNA school some school may use that contract that you cannot work really um, yep wow so, uh, they very <laughs> strict with that um, I mean most for you to do one school, I don't uh, see any school. I don't think you should be working at any yeah. place because the school yeah. very intense, you know. Yeah. Um. So be prepared for that. Um. I mean, if you have good time management skill, you probably can handle like a per diem job or like mm-hmm. you know a few hours a week, which is I think it should be fine, but not like a whole twelve hour shift, uh, like twice mm-hmm. a week. I don't think that is doable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know, plan ahead. Uh, pick up as many OT shifts as you can. Um, <laughs> I used to when I used uh, when I was working, I picked up a lot of overtime shifts. Uh, at some point, I was working like five, six day out of the week. Yeah, I also I had a yeah. I also had a <laughs> per diem job. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. So that uh, also oh, helped yeah. a lot, you know. So to save for school, yeah, like yeah. It, it, it was crazy. But yeah, I used to work like five, six days a week. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Anywhere they need overtime, they would call me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are a hard worker. Hard yeah, worker. no, definitely, because you know, I I know I won't be making money for the next three years, so I. Just like, yeah, I got to like have some money and sit in my bank so that I can, you know, pay for my leaving expenses and stuff. I mean, also school do offer, um, school do offer financial aids too. And also it's, it's also, I got lucky um, that I found down after like about two months after I got accepted that uh, I also got um, a scholarship, uh, a full scholarship for uh for CIU school (laughs) so uh, I save a lot of money on tuition um so I yeah so that it's actually worked out very well uh yeah that day I got the call and that's like oh you sure um there's like oh yeah like we have you know a scholarship for you um for the program that uh, if you're interested and I thought it was a scam call (laughs) (laughs) Because, like, you know, I, I was outside and all of a sudden, like, the phone ringing uh, with, like, a random number. So I was like, I decided to pick up. And I normally <laughs> wouldn't pick up a random number, though. And that's what they said. That's like, oh, yeah, so we would like to offer you um, a full scholarship. And I, I, I paused for a moment and I was like, oh, this must be a scam because I don't think so. <laughs> And I actually made I actually made the lady to email me with the details uh, <laughs> yeah, because I want to make sure it's come from an organization, you know, yeah, that uh, from an institution. Because I'm like, I don't know 
who she is and you know she can just say who she, or if she wants <laughs> Exactly. That's smart. So yeah, so I told her I'm like, oh, you know, I'm outside. Um, so I would be interested if you can email me. So I gave her my like, you know, the email, yeah. and she emailed me, and I, it was real. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a, back, a little off, you know, backstory. But you have the same birthday as my husband, and I tell you, you guys are so lucky. Like when it comes to money. But you guys are, are really hard workers. So, Thank you know. You. Yeah. I I was so surprised when I heard the news because I'm like, usually CRNA school, like, they don't give out any scholarship or, like, they people. Pe- I, t- I spoke to, like, many CRNAs at work and they oh. all, like, you know, gave me advice about finances. That's like, you have to do as many overtime shifts as you can. Save so up a lot of money before you start school because, like, they said they had so much, like, that alone, like some of them I spoke to have like $300,000 debt, uh, <laughs> even like until now. Yeah, as they said, because school, like, and they only did like two years of school. Um, and they said, yeah, like with the tuition and everything, like they had like 200, uh, like 300,000 debt. But when you finish school, you, you're making, <laughs> oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, <that> definitely. <laughs> yeah, like they said, they, the they make good money, they also pick yeah. up a lot of overtime, so um, they said they it pay off, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, if you um, definitely it's the trade off, like you'll be graduating, like you can see a large amount of money of debts, but think about it once you when once you finish school. You make way more than what you make at the best signers. Oh and, yeah, you know you can, um, and you can use that to pay off the loan. If, oh yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That's, but that's those are, uh, you know, highly. My best advice is if you decide to go back to school full time for anything, not only CRNA school, but like even for NP school, if you decide to do a full time, mm-hmm. um, or like any kind of degree, I would totally save up uh, money so you don't take out uh, you know too much loan even if yeah. like if you do definitely take it out uh, but you know um, seeing if you have the time the energy yeah. I would totally you know work extra and save up the money yeah, yeah. and prepare definitely. yep definitely, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um Thank you so much. I mean, yeah, no, no problem. I hope this helped everyone's like, you know, who want to become a CNA. Like I would love to because I like personally, a lot of people I, I actually like reach out to when I like when I look at school that I plan to apply, I reach out to like, you know, directors uh, of like, each program that I was interested in. And Mm -hmm. I asked them, like, you know, I explained to them that, you know, uh, like of my very unique experience, Um, like, you know, how I work in the PACU, but like my PACU, like we, like ICU, like I would have ICU patients every day. Like I explained to them, like what kind of patient I had. And, you know, I even like got on the phone with some of them to like discuss uh, about my experience and all this stuff. And, some school like, oh yes, like, you know, that's fine. Um, you know, as long as, you know, you know, you have a nice U background and uh, you, and, you know, a lot of them like very, very like, like encouraging me to like apply to that program because mm-hmm. uh, it sounds like, you know, we get very sick patients and yeah. uh, the experience is sufficient enough uh, for us to, uh, like for myself to uh, succeed in the program. Mm-hmm. So like I reach out to them personally and, you know, asking them like tons of questions uh, and also to let them remember me <laughs> that yeah. I will be an applicant for the year, yeah. um, you know, so um, so that is also like when they go through the, when they go through your applications, you know, they, they remember it's like, Oh, okay. Like I spoke with this guy, like, you know, so, uh, you know, leave them good impressions, then they would totally, you know, um, happy to extend you an interview. Uh, but I also did got some like really like, you know, discouraging, like, really? Yeah. From, um, from I think two. Yeah. One of them just like, 
yeah, yeah, no, no. You need to get out of there and go to the real ICU. 